Hello all. In this Unity 3D tutorial we are going to learn about loading multiple scenes additively. Loading a scene additively keeps the active scenes in the game and loads the new scene, additionally, without affecting other scenes. So, this allows us to structure our game that we can remove and add one or more scenes keeping a balance on the memory usage. We will now look at how we can achieve this. A scene can be loaded or removed in two ways, one is manually and other is programmatically. We will look at both ways as to how we can achieve them. So, here is my active scene named as main scene. To this when we play the game we, additionally, want to load level named level 1-1. To do it manually we simply go to the scene we want to open in project window. Right click on the scene and then click open scene additively. This loads the scene level 1-1 keeping all the active scenes intact. You can see that in the hierarchy window that this new scene has been loaded, with all the game objects in its hierarchy, for this scene. If I right click and click on unload scene this will remove the scene but keeps its name in the list. To remove any scene, simply right click on the scene and click remove scene, which will remove the scene entirely. To do this programmatically, we will look at the script attached to game object load level. In Visual Studio we open the script. What this script does is that it, additively, loads a scene called inventory scene underscore prefabs when game is run. In this piece of code, here, the class scene manager, executes function, or method load scene async. Load scene async method takes two parameters. The first one is the scene name to be loaded, holding this value in inventory scene name variable. In our case, this is inventory scene underscore prefabs. The second argument is the mode in which the scene is to be added. Since, in this tutorial we are discussing, loading scene additively, we will give the parameter as load scene mode additive. The next code is the while loop, which ensures that the script is not executed ahead until the scene has been loaded. Let us play the game and check. On playing we can see that the scene inventory scene underscore prefabs is loaded. The script then waits for 8 seconds after which the scene is automatically unloaded, as we can see here that the scene gets unloaded after this time. Unloading the scene is done using this piece of code, similar to loading scene, except that the function unload scene async is called. This method, of course, takes only one argument which is the scene name to be unloaded. I hope this helped you. Please subscribe, like, comment and share my channel for more fun videos and stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.